Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Minecraft. I'm your host, Wyvern Rider, and today I'm just gonna do whatever. So, um, I'm gonna start off by, uh, talking about the Scepter of Life Draining, and it was not as I thought it was, um, an Ender Pearl that you can recharge it with, but it is the Fermented Spider Eye. And this should be working. Um, maybe I just haven't drained it enough. But uh, you can recharge the Scepter of Life Draining with a Fermented Spider Eye, somehow. I haven't really been paying attention to how. Um, I think I'll go drain the scepter later on and uh, figure that one out. So uh, one of the things that I forgot to cover in the crafting bench was recrafting. Uh, the goblin tinkering bench is what I'm talking about. And uh, what you can do there is you can use experience levels, turn, say, a golden sword into an iron sword. Or an iron sword into a wooden sword. And uh, this doesn't cost levels, apparently. Uh, I thought it did. So, oh, okay. So, um, transferring enchanted weapons will cost levels. But apparently not many. Or at least not for a cheap little knockback uh, enchantment. So, I don't really need these anymore. Doop. Doop. Alright. Uh... Let's see, what was I going to do next? I know I've got the uh, ore map down here that I was going to cover. Alright, let's get rid of this lag. It's killing me. It's driving me crazy. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, a little better. Maze ore map, redstone, paper, coal. So, um, I'm thinking of maybe getting different boots because uh, these ones with their oh, swiftness are really, or with the striding enchantment, are really, really fast. And uh, sometimes it's annoying and I overshoot. But uh, what I made over here was a backup sword. Uh, I put my elemental weapons together. Got my super bow. Uh, I think that's it. So, I'm going to head in there and show you all what the Magic Ore Map does. This is actually going to be the first time I've ever used the Magic Ore Map. So, I don't really know what it's going to look like either. But, I've got two picks, and so we're going to find out together. Oh wow, the lag in here is like, almost non-existent. That's fantastic. Alright, let's go the easy way. In. Just, just drop down right here. And then we can find that crafting bench I placed in here somewhere. I'm sure it's here. And if it's not, then I can just go back up, find some wood, and make another one. There's the chest. So I did come down here and light all this up. So, ah, there it is. Fabulous. But these silverfish are kind of annoying, and the game appears to have frozen on me. Ah, here we go. Okay, so magic ore map, one redstone and one coal and one paper. Reset. Stop pushing me! You're so annoying, little things. So you can see I've got two crystalline bells. Ah, okay. So what is all this? It looks just like the other map, but there are apparently lots more little colors on here. Stop lagging. Alright, so I see lots of blue. Outside of this gray. God, there are so many silverfish down here. There weren't near so many before. Alright, so let's use this map. And apparently dead ahead of me there is something red. So I'm just gonna... Lag my way to victory. Kill you. Ow. They're actually hurting me. I guess once they get me cornered. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That makes sense. Red. Be redstone. So 
So the magic ore map will show you anything above or below. All right, what's blue? I don't know. It doesn't show anything. I don't know what blue is. It could be dirt. Blue could be dirt. No, because it shows dirt. Well, uh, hold on, I gotta tell my computer not to restart because it wants to update something. Postpone for four hours. Yeah, I like that option. Alright. Ah, get out of my way. Stupid silverfish. Um, but yeah, the magic ore map will show you ores and things. You may have to do a little bit of testing on your own to figure out what all the colors do, but since I don't really need ores of any kind or fashion or color because I'm just that fantastic and I have everything I need. Ooh, what's green? I like green. Is that more live root? I could always use more live root. Alright, so what color is this? Stop the lagging! It drives me crazy. Okay, so like the light, the darker gray is iron. And there's something that's like a lighter gray right next to it. Which could be... Ah, okay, so it does it by shade as where it is. Because it will show you anything that's at eye level and one block above or one block below. So, uh... Oh, okay, so there's gold is green. A little strange, but okay. I guess that's alright. And what is that blue looking stuff over there. Let's go find that one. Should be right over here somewhere. Okay. Should be right this way. Ah! Okay, so the light blue kind of uh, lavender looking color is diamond. Alright, guys, watch this. Fortune pick. So great. Diamonds everywhere. I love it. How many diamonds was that? Twelve diamonds. I do so love diamonds. Alright, so we got some other strange colors out here. Wait, I guess I should go this way to look at them. Alright, so there's more iron, more redstone. Give me a hole in this wall so I can go through. Iron, redstone, green stuff, which is gold, apparently. Um... What's another strange color? What's all this brown? It's like dark brown. Alright, I'm gonna need torches. Torch, torch, torches. Let's find out. Alright, so I've dug in a little. So apparently there's dark brown somewhere along this side. Or all along this side. It could mean coal. Which would mean that it goes further down than I suspected it does. So it could be that it goes down two blocks, or three blocks in every direction. Because it's showing me colors that I can't find. Or that I haven't found yet. Which makes me want to go look at that blue again. So let's see. It shows me gravel is like yellowish. And um... Okay, you guys are driving me crazy. Why are there so many of you? You're like freaking rats. Take all the freaking stone and turn it into infinite freaking gert call darn. Oh, there's like cave over here. That makes sense. So where are they all coming from? I don't know. So, I'm liking the new level system of the 1.3.2 because it will make things so much easier for me. Outside of Thorncraft, of course. Ah, oh, more diamond. I like more diamond. Give me some diamond. Oh, look, it's like right there. Ah. How great would it be to just break through a wall and find diamonds? Oh, so 
I found something that's really neat. So I don't remember if I've covered this or not, but if you uh, look at a monster with the Sword of the Zephyr and you right click, instead of dashing you forward, it will dash the monster. It will dash the monster towards you. Sorry, video break. And um, so that's kind of cool. You can just kind of walk along and have monsters fly towards you. Not sure what the real uh, use of that is, unless there's a monster across a ravine that you just absolutely have to kill. Uh, another strange thing. Very strange. Alright, so I've got my crystal chunk over here. Vs level, well over 8,000. But each adjacent chunk, so the, the standard level of the Vs around here is between 3 and 4,000. But my Vs level, or my Vs chunk, 8,000, right? Each adjacent chunk, 6,000, but every single one of them is at the exact same level. 6377 or 6378. So each chunk bordering mine has been increased as well due to the uh, presence of so many crystals which are boosting the local positive uh, Vs aura. And it appears to be affecting chunks out in each direction as well that's further. So each adjacent chunk to the 6,000 chunks is now a 4,000 chunk, whereas if I go anywhere else out here, it's at still about 3,000-ish. So this uh, proves that chunks that are next to chunks that have a high Vs rating will be bolstered by the high Vs rating. So if you have a really positively charged chunk, it will affect the chunks around it. Likewise, this proves that tainted chunks will spread infinitely if given enough time. Because if the taint is high enough, then it will start affecting the taint levels of the chunks around it, which will then affect the taint levels of the chunks around them. So you got to really watch out if you've got a tainted chunk and take care of it as quickly as possible. Now, I know I had somebody who asked whether or not you could taint chunks in the Twilight Forest. So, you know what? Let's go do that. I want to see it happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft a crappy crucible and we're just going to throw some junk in it until things explode. So I'm going to need... Whoops, I've got a bunch of crap now. i got to put all this away. Put these stone bricks in here that I'm never going to use. I'm going to melt down the cobblestone, looks like. Throw some iron and ore in there. Oh god, I just found 23 diamonds on a single run and I didn't even have to try. I love fortune picks. Throw away the dirt. Pitch the cobblestone. Um, let's see, that, that crystal chunk that I've got in the uh, Twilight Forest? So productive, I don't think I'll ever need another crystal chunk. Or, I don't think I'll ever need to make any more crystals because I currently have so much beasts in my system, it's not even funny. Well, I guess not as much as I could have hoped, but then again, I did just burn off 4,000 re er, enchanting my new sword. But, uh, what was I gonna do in here? Oh yes, crucible. Uh, crucible, crucible. I need 7 iron. And some cobblestone for a furnace. Actually, do I have a crucible in here? Nope, but I do have a furnace. A furnace, crucible, and where'd I put the frickin' crystal? Furnace, cauldron, crystal, crucible. Alright, let's get... Actually, I should have made a lot more of those. Bear with me. Sorry, this is taking so long, guys. I'm just gonna make some things real quick. And grab two more crystals. Nope, not those. Now, let's make some thingies. Ta da! Cauldrons! Ta da! Furnaces! 
Ta-da! Crucibles. Alright, now I just need a bunch of stuff to throw in them. So, the best source of visa I know. Ding, 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 ding. I do so love this. This is like my standby room now. Like, I just kind of use it when it's available. Still got that beast production that I wanted it for. Unfortunately, now it is in second place. I was really surprised at how quickly the uh, Vs rating was boosted in the Twilight Forest because before it was just 3,000 and now it's already at 8 and I haven't even been around it all that much. Hup. All right. Let's pitch some crystals, get some Alright, I'm going to need a lot more V's than this. So I'm just going to make some diamond thingies. Diamond block. 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 A single diamond block will definitely overfill a regular crucible already. So I'm hoping that a couple of diamond blocks will make them overflow to the point where it's already it's burning off so much negative or it's burning so much taint into the atmosphere so what's some other stuff that I can melt down I do so love melting things down uh, I know ender pearls give a lot so you know what I'm gonna do with this last ender pearl I'm gonna go down here and stick it in my duplicator Where's my, which one's my this one's Oh boy, that's probably going to take a lot of V's. Just keep doing it. Uh, I'll come stop it eventually. Ah. Alright, so I want to go way far out to do this because I don't want to affect any local chunks that are near to where my Twilight Forest house is going to be. And I, I still intend on building the Twilight Forest house. It may just take a lot longer. Alright, so I'm going to grab my magic map and um... Actually, I think I'm going to pause the video at this point uh, to just go out somewhere, and then I'll let y'all know when I get back. So, I will be right back. Alright, so here we are in the middle of this nice taintable forest. And I want to see how badly I can melt this place up. Alright, let's get some diamond in there. Yeah, just burn it off real quick. Just horribly destroy the atmosphere. I don't even care. Give me those ender pearls. Why are they not melting over yet? Um, oh, okay, there they go. Alrighty. Um, I'll be back when the taint levels are ridiculous. Hello again. Alright, so I've reached about 7,400-ish, and the little taint has a started to appear. Unfortunately, the taint charge that I've generated is not permanent and is dropping rapidly. So what I need is for this to spread really quickly. But, so yes, you can bring the taint into the Twilight Forest. Uh, okay, so it's already gotten this log here. That's interesting. But, uh, what I really want for it to do is spread like wildfire. But it will not. I tried to melt down as much obsidian as I could. but it didn't work so well. And uh, this is actually my second attempt at this area because uh, I tried recording a little bit earlier and it became, the file became corrupted because the uh, video capture software crashed and I lost some very important footage because I had come across a naturally generated taint chunk in the Twilight Forest. So I have no idea where it is now. Uh, I wish I did.
because it would be great to know. But you can find naturally generating taint chunks in the Twilight Forest. So that is, it's, it's very unfortunate that I lost that footage because that was some really important stuff. But um, I'm going to do my best to simulate that with um, what, what I have here. Unfortunately, it's not spreading quickly enough. And so I'm going to need more obsidian before this will work. So I need to get out of here before it drops too much. Come on. Actually, that'll probably work. That might work just as well. There we go. Ridiculous. <laughs> God, this is going to crash my game so fast. Oh God, I just boosted the taint on this chunk to over 1900. It was at about 1300 before. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. But uh, one thing I did want to cover is that yes, the uh, adjacent chunks are boosted to 6000. Whoops. Lag a lag. Oh, Minecraft. Mine crashed. Thank you for running out of memory right in the middle of my video recording. I do so love it when you do that. Alright, um, it is now 5 a.m. and I have class in two hours. It'll be wonderful. Well, three hours, but you know, I, I have to leave before then to get there on time. Alright, uh, 4,420, 4,421, 4,421, 4,421. So each adjacent chunk is boosted by the aura rating of the chunk next to it. So you get a really high level Vs chunk and it will spread. You get a really high level Taint chunk and it will spread. So that's pretty awesome. So um, next episode I am going to take this traveling trunk and this harnessed rage and put it on the traveling trunk and I'm going to go kill the lich. And Actually, you know what, I think we have time for that now, since the thingy done crashed. I swear it's not been four minutes. Yeah, whatever. Alright, um, give me my map. Need to get there real quick, so I think I'm going to use my flat carpet. Oops, got to go that way. Straight north. Let's go flying carpet. How fast can you move? Oh man, this is, this is, this is really slow. I don't know if we're going to get there in time, guys. <laughs> but I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll spot that tainted chunk. I don't remember even what direction it's in. But it was pretty obvious at the time. You know, purple everywhere. But uh, so my initial uh, statement, which I strongly believed in for a good bit of time, that you could not find tainted chunks in the Twilight Forest was wrong. You can. I just didn't think it would be possible. Kind of irritating, really. Have to worry about tainted animals. I need to run some tests over whether tainted animals in uh, the Twilight Forest will become tainted. Like the little uh, rams and stuff. Rams and the deer. I want to see if they turn into tainted sheep and cows. It'll be amusing to find out. So I'm going to need to find a chunk with a bunch of them and then taint nuke it. Except it's the opposite kind of taint nuking. Where I nuke it to become tainted. I'm going to need a heck of a lot of obsidian for that. As you can see my uh, switching wand is still recovering from my recent foray into the nether. To get more obsidian. Infinite obsidian. I love it. Great work in the nether. Ah, oh, we're almost there. Fabulous. I think I'm just going to break straight into his room. Ah, there's the paintings. 
You can see the paintings already generated. Here we are. So what I need to do is, you know, let's let's break in right here. That'll be all right. Ah, here we are. Allow my flying carpet in. Oops. Whoa, what was that? Whoops, all right. Uh, let's give this a shot. All right, so he's right in there. Let's drop my traveling trunk. Throw that harnessed rage on him. And come on, buddy. I'm going to need your help for this. Let's go. Bam, come here, Lich King. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, he's like a, he's like a shadow dude. Ha, ah, I'm breaking your shield, buddy. What are you going to do about it? My sword is not working. Ah, now it works. Oh, man, he's got zombies all over the place. Oh, I killed him. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Let's pick up all his stuff. Ooh, he gave me a zombie scepter. This is the one I think that you can recharge with the, uh, the, uh, ender pearls. Where's my trunk? Thanks a lot, trunk. You were useless. I guess you might have been doing useful things while I wasn't watching. I don't know. I wasn't watching. Let's drop down right here. Whee! Oh god, I forgot. Fall damage. Oh dear. If that creeper blows up, we're all dead. Zombies everywhere! I know somebody asked for a killing spree at one point, so here's, here's a killing spree. Where I just destroy everything. Oh, I forgot to give my traveling trunk some food. Traveling trunk! Take these chickens. You'll need them. Now attack, my faithful servant. Oh god, lag! Not the lag! Okay, um... Let's get out of here. Whoops, too far. Warp! Thank you. Awesome. Hey, Traveling Trunk, you followed me. Oh god, this lag is ridiculous. Could be I overdid it. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's it for today. Um, I really wish that I could have found that tainted chunk again, but alas, twas not to be. And... Traveling trunk. Uh, let's go through this portal and see if the traveling trunk follows me. Alright, I have 15 seconds left, guys. Alright, well, this is it. I will check y'all on the save file.